7.15. I am uh, heading out. I am only going to the town called Sisters. So Sisters is uh, supposed to be kind of a cool little town. I've had several people tell me that Sisters is really cool. So I'm looking forward to it. It's only in like 48 miles, 1600 feet up, 1600 feet down. It's gonna be a pretty easy day. I'm not expecting any crazy wind. Um, the wind picks up later in the day, but um, I may only have like an hour of actually really big wind. Um, so that's good. I'm uh, nearing the final stages and uh, I'm trying to soak in every single bit of this that I really can. It's uh, <clears throat> it's it's been a really for me it's been a really wild adventure, and I'm uh, really grateful that I've been able to do this, and certainly grateful that my uh, wife and family have supported me for this whole thing. I said in the beginning that I had two objectives don't get hit by a car and don't have a stroke. So um, I think I've resolved this stroke thing. You know, I got through the deep south without um, having any health issues when it was hot. I've ridden through some really hot weather, um, days that had a high of 104. Not that I was on a bike at 104, but um, I was probably on the bike at Probably the hottest I've been on a bike is probably more in the 95, 94, 95 range, which is crazy hot, really, when you think about it, especially when you're talking about the deep south with the, humid the humidity on top of it. Certainly have been just soaking wet from sweat as I've been going through this. So, yeah, it's all good. Get over to Sisters, see what it's about. I was actually lucky because. Um, my stay after Eugene is actually going to a an Airbnb um, spot where I've rented a single room from a lady who grows grapes. So she grows um, grapes for Chardonnay and, and Pinot um, wine growers in the area. And we all know that Washington is known for their Pinot. So um, I'm kind of looking forward to that. It's kind of out in the country. There's nothing around it, so I'll pack in um, for that, but there are supposed to be some wineries around there. Now, around there is kind of a relative term when you're when you're always describing, hey, it's this is nearby because you have a vehicle. So I, I kind of have a bad feeling that they're probably in um, probably in uh, in in the kind of the dirt road area. So. Um, but I think it'll be worth it. If I, if, if I have a winery that's 10 miles away, I'm gonna go check that winery out and, and kind of enjoy some good Pinot. I have a feeling that heavy traffic is in my future for today. There's a deer. Hey, buddy. All right, 17 miles done. Now I uh, start the uh, process of climbing 1,600 feet or so. But man, what beautiful country. I can certainly understand why people live out here. I mean, it is just gorgeous out here. Just, just an incredible country. Beautiful temperature as well.
you know, one thing that's cool about this area is that uh, there's just like raging water canals everywhere, just like this one here. It's really kind of cool. And I, no doubt it's what's fueling all the agriculture that's over here in this dry, arid area. The water looks crystal clear too. Here's another one. These things are just everywhere. Here's a cool picture. Look at all these alpaca. I guess they're alpaca. Look at all these alpaca. All right, six pounds to go. I'm in sheep country. I'm seeing them everywhere. All right, this is uh, Sister's Town. It's really cool. It's kind of like a... Kind of like a Colorado ski town, only, um, you know, they have these three mountains that they call the twin sisters but uh it's really kind of cool i'm looking forward to checking this place out okay sisters is cool i'm sitting here drinking a cup of coffee at sisters coffee company I'm trying to acclimate my body back to coffee since uh, i haven't had that much coffee but it's a pretty cool place um, I already have my hotel figured out for tomorrow. I'm actually staying at the Harbix Inn, and it's it's close. You know, it's back to the old these mountains. It's my last big climb, so these mountains are uh, kind of dictating how far uh, I want to go. I could either go straight from here to Eugene, Oregon. It's like 96 miles with um, close to 2,600 feet of climbing. I don't want to do that. I'm too close. It's too. That's too much work. I'm trying to go easy. I'm trying to enjoy is. So I'm going to only go 44 miles with 2,600 feet of climbing, and then go down the hill and just roll straight in. And uh, and then the next day I'll go to Eugene, and then I go uh, to uh, that one place, which is uh, that Airbnb, that that inexpensive Airbnb place that uh, is actually growing grapes for uh, the local uh, vineyards so it's pretty cool really enjoying this I really think sisters is uh, a neat place I can see uh, I can understand why people would want to live over in this area I mean you've got a climate that's very similar to the Texas Hill Country you've got um, town that's kind of similar to like a Frisco, Colorado in terms of just cool factor. Not not as not as mature as a Breckenridge, but um, a lot of really cool shops and art and restaurants and all of that. And then what are you? No more than two hours from the Pacific Coast. And um, you also got skiing over here in this area too. So yeah, this place is uh, this place would be a uh, Nice little relocation place, retirement wise. I just striking out with barber shops or here salons. It's Monday. They're closed on Monday. 